The long journey through the OHL playoffs ends tonight. The Barry Colts of Plymouth Whalers have battled hard through six games to take the next step. Halifax in the Memorial Cup. The OHL Championship game is next. As you're about to witness, game seven. What are the keys to a seventh game? Courage. Uh, you know, it's not for the faint at heart. And right off the bat is coming right up. The opening draw controlled by the Colts. All the way into the Plymouth zone for our first icing call coming up as it's touched up by Libor Ustinov, who took a wicked hit as he touched the puck. Anderson fed it ahead. Here's Gudicinski, got a shot. Gonna take this face off on Vernarski. Brought back to Ustinov, chip right out front. Comes Williams, quick shot. And Rob's taking a look at Blaine down. Waiting for this puck. For it. Zepp has to come back and cover it with Keith coming in to get there first. Shot comes out defensively for Barry. Keith can bother a little bit. Takes a heavy. Barnes goes after. He can't control. Robinson with a big shot. Knocked down in front. Turning and missing on that one. Robinson another. Looks for the hard clearing pass up to the line. Again, not out. Right into the zone. Kept in. Christian skating in. A backhander. They score. Sheldon Keith. Period number one. There's the clearing attempt up the board. It's kept in by Robinson. The Whalers are caught going the other way. Jefferson gets it down low to Sheldon Keith left all alone because Newman was the man that pushed the puck up the board. Sean Fisher was up on the right side. And that opened up the lane down low. Nobody sees. Everybody is assuming at this point how the puck is getting out. Seema Weiss up there. So is Newman trapped up the left side. Fisher comes up, commits himself to the middle of the ice, and Sheldon Keith has an open lane. And Kudusinski comes in, looks to get the shot, try to get the centering pass. It's not going to be on Mike Christian. It's interference. He's holding up Bobby McBride. Now the puck is in the neutral zone. Watch McBride trying to get back. There's the hold on the jersey. And down goes McBride. See if the Whalers can win this one and set up the power play. Damian Sturman sees up a diving score! Good things happen when you win the draw in the offensive zone. Right off the draw. Watch Eric Gouldy on the left side drive towards the net. There's the faceoff. Gouldy goes towards the net. As he circles around, he's going towards Reitz. There's your screen. Reitz and Gouldy are right in the middle. And Finley had no idea where that puck was. Great faceoff by the Plymouth Whalers. Stephen Weiss gets it back to Damian Serma. Doesn't get tipped in front of the net. Eric Gouldy to the goal. And on the right side on Kava. Moving it over the line with a shot. Big save. Great job. Watch how Nate Kaiser comes back here. There's the original shot. Kaiser comes in and just stick checks his man, Tim Verbeek. Back check. Jefferson in over the line. Feeds the left wing. Coming in with a big shot. Spitke. Hamming in behind the net. Taken out of the play by Power. Dribbles right out in front. And Serma. Damian Serma. Hammers Eric Reese. Back to the point. Tees it up. Here's Eric Reese. He goes after Eric Gouldy and Gouldy. Oh, Here's he may have got his fist up into the face of Eric Reitz or maybe the butt of the stick as he cross-checked him. And Eric Reitz being tended to. Now Weiss goes after him. Fisher with a shot, save made the rebound! Coach, first of all, first 20 minutes, lots of emotion out there, the building's electric. Your thoughts on the first period? Well, it's probably a lot easier to play than it is to coach tonight, Jeff. It, uh, you know, two teams that are battling extremely hard. To, you never know this is game seven, the way the legs are tonight. Guys are going real hard, and it's going to go down right to the wire. He's in on Hill. Leaves it for Fisher with a shot to save made. And Finlay is wiped out of okay. his crease and ends up in a heap behind the net. Was pinballing between his legs. There's the shot by Fisher. Puck is loose there. Gouldy goes in, makes contact, and then pile on. Uh, it must have been called out there on the ice because four players, two white jerseys, two blue jerseys, end up on top. Racing for it down the right side. Here comes... Barry with a shot, and the save made, it's loose. And he gets around Sean Fisher, Fisher doesn't haul him down. He's got an open lane to the net, but Serva comes in and cuts it off, forcing him to shoot from out. Ellison into the zone, Denisitsky goes down for it, the shot left there, rebound. Tries to come out of the corner with it. Denisitsky held onto his stick, no call, give it up. And it's a really great score! The puck was locked up there long enough that Prisniak actually had his hand up around his whistle. Here's Robichaud trying to tip it away from Spitke's score check, but right on the stick of Henderson, and he puts it underneath Rob Zepp. 2-1 Colts, 12-12 shots on goal right now. This will take that face off on Hill. Now Thurma and Reed have an exchange, both verbally and physically. Far boards coming in. Robichaud, Kirk fires once again. Beats to center ice, moves over the left side, throws a shot on Finley, knocked that one aside. Crashes his way deep into the corner. The centering pass comes out. Back to Fisher, a shot back to 
on a great centering pass by Randy Fitzgerald to Bernarski, and there it is. There's the shot, and there's Fitzgerald. Verbeek into the zone. There's Kava back up. Jodoshitsky with a shot, and a big save by... Up the boards. It's Jodoshitsky right there. Jodoshitsky there to bother him. Now Verbeek with Henderson. Shoots, save and it Right back. Cole Jarrett turns the puck over up the boards under the forecheck. Tim Verbeek coming in on a two-on-0. Robichaux back. There's the pass across. Great stop by Rob Zepp once on Mike Henderson. And he makes the second save. There's the second shot. Second save by Rob Zepp. For Weiss. Stephen Weiss comes out with it. Skates in with a shot. At the line on Hill. Leaves it for Kava. Kava steered it right at the net. Finley got a few. Williams on the right side. Drop pass to Chris Kava. Kava sends it towards the net. Looks harmless enough. But there's McBride going to the goal, trying to get the tip. Comes Barry on the near side. Big hit. Barry. Here's Fitzgerald, trying to get it through to Goldie. Goldie gets all wrapped up as it dribbles to the netminder. Fin uh, game seven here is electricity. Oh, what this, are your, <laughs> what are your thoughts what so far? This is what it's all about. I've been scouting at the junior level. Uh, well, it's got to be the better part of 20 years. What do you look for in the players? Well, basically, um, the first thing I look for, believe it or not, is show me a kid that comes to play. Uh, you know, show me a kid that works hard. You know, for example, on our team, of a guy like a Robbie McBride. But the bottom line is that night in, night out, the Plymouth Whalers show up to play, and, and that'll take you a long way. Into the slot, turns, tries to get the shot. And down has it now for Hendrick. Hendrick breaking in on Fisher with a shot. Milan knocks it down. Give up. Anderson with and they turn it back up ice. Here's Jodoshitsky in over the line with a shot to save me. Quality scoring chance as he goes around. Robichaux, who was going to the bench on a line change, and last minute saw Jodoshitsky coming in. Kaiser, the lone whaler back, and then Jodoshitsky takes the shot, picks up the rebound, and then sends it right through the back door on the opposite side of the... Good speed up the middle. Pulls up, takes the shot on Zepp, knocking it down. Keep a backhand. He'd have been away. And now we've got Sherwood going in after Henrik. Makes contact with Henrik and falls awkwardly to the ice. Ian Serma being helped off the ice by his line mate Justin Williams. For Henderson. Henderson looks to get by. Two on one and over the line. Henderson for big with a shot. He scores! They've got to get something going and fast. Blowing past Kappa at the blue line is Mike Henderson. Henderson, great pass to Verbeek. And bang. Beats Robs up cleanly on the stick side. Nice pass from Henderson. There's the shot, and it beats Robs up on the blocker side, bringing... Comes back to the line, Robichaux. He tees up a drive, dribbles through. Three chances at it. Finley still can't find it. Sean Fisher now in control. Fisher for Niston. Right through center ice for McBride. Rob McBride works his way in over the line. Kirka went for the front of the net. Pass was behind him. Here's Nistus, Well, there's the goal the Whalers needed to get right back in this hockey game. Bobby McBride, the pup line, comes in off the left side, around Nick Robinson, shovels into the front of that, Kirka fans on it, and then a collision in front. Nistus goes to the net, there it is, and in through the legs of Finley. Plymouth is back to within one. 10-32 of the third period. And we got a one-goal hockey game again. As Plymouth, right through the wickets, George Nistis back when it was 3-1. to one. They had to get the very Colts have called a timeout with 9.28 to go here in the third period. John, Rob McBride made that play happen, and Mike Sadler, the scout, said in the break, when Jeff Albanese talked to him during that second intermission, he's one of the hardest workers on this team. He may not have the numbers to show for it, but that was an outstanding job by McBride. And we off the board. Sermon gets there. Throw it right out. They're still up with it. Here's Kaprinowski with a shot and a save made by Finley. Let's go, Whalers. Let's go, Barry. Coming from the crowd. Trying to outdo one another as are both these hockey teams on the ice. The nationally televised audience on Sportsnet on the Sunday afternoon in Canada. They have seen arguably one of the best junior hockey series of all time. Trying to get the pass. Ryan Derma drops it down low to Williams. There's the centering pass. Out of the stick of Bernard. Hine fakes the shot, tries to move his way in. Centering pass, Fitzgerald. Tried to pull it back onto his stick. Fitzgerald takes a look. 
Brings it out. Fisher with a dive. Goes to the head. Fisher coming back to cover. Henry comes in with a backhander and a save made by Zepp. Drops it down for Newman. Looking for the empty net. Not going to get it here. Zepp comes out to play it. Poked away. This time Sturma. Try to get the pass. Here's for me. The Mary Colts are going to win the Robertson Cup. The Cinderella story will come to a conclusion here this evening. The Mary Colts will be going to Halifax. Derma has the puck, looks up, looks down, and tries to go cross ice. Nobody between Verbeek and the net. And there's the shot upstairs. The Mary Colts, 91 seconds away from claiming their first OHL championship in their fifth year of existence. The Whalers captured their fifth champion, their first championship in year number five. And four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. The Colts are off the bench and all over the netminder, Brian Finley, the 1999-2000 OHL playoff champion. But the happiest are the Barry Colts on the ice right now. The on-ice presentation of the trophy. <laughs> Down is at a cell phone. I wonder who they're talking to. Mom and Dad back home. Maybe they couldn't make the trip. Letting them know. Maybe talking to the head coach.